Looking for a classic film that combines humor, intrigue, and a touch of Hollywood glamour? Look no further than A Night in Casablanca. This 1946 movie promises plenty of laughs, surprises, and even a few moments that might tug at your heartstrings. As you watch, you'll encounter a cast of memorable characters, each adding their own unique flavor to the story. With so many roles to choose from, it's hard to pick a favorite. Whether you're drawn to the quick wit of one character or the charm of another, there's something for everyone in this film. And let's not forget the classic Hollywood actors gracing the screen. From their impeccable delivery to their timeless style, they truly bring the movie to life. But the fun doesn't stop there. As you dive deeper into the story, you'll uncover funny, shocking, and even sad facts that will keep you on the edge of your seat. So grab some popcorn and settle in. You won't want to miss a minute of the action. Now we want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. We can't wait to hear them. Keep watching for more interesting facts and don't forget to share your thoughts with us. Your feedback means the world to us. A Night in Casablanca, released in 1946, was a big hit back then. People really liked the funny jokes and exciting story. It became really famous and even influenced other movies and TV shows. After it did so well, there were all kinds of things made based on it, like posters and t-shirts. People loved the movie so much that they wanted to have stuff related to it. Even though it's an old movie, it's still loved today. It's inspired lots of other funny movies and comedians. The movie continues to be remembered and enjoyed, and it's still influencing entertainment today. A Night in Casablanca, released in 1946, stars a notable actor who has appeared in three other films recognized by the National Film Registry Duck Soup, A Night at the Opera, and will success spoil Rock Hunter. In the movie, there's a memorable scene where a character, inspired by an incident from the actor's past, chases a screaming girl as a prank to throw off his brother's timing. This gag originated when he accidentally upset a mobster by chasing his girlfriend, leading to a quick resolution and the incorporation of the gag into his career. Interestingly, in the Broadway play A Day in Hollywood A Night in the Ukraine, a character reminiscent of him was portrayed by David Garrison. His influence extends beyond the screen, resonating in both stage and film performances. Released in 1946, A Night in Casablanca features Groucho Marx, the son of Sam Marx and Minnie Marx. Groucho Marx passed away on the day of his 28th wedding anniversary, a date that coincides with the passing of Catriona White 51 years later. Jack L. Warner, impressed by Groucho's talent and popularity, considered casting him in the role of Stella Kowalski in a streetcar named Desire. His performance in A Night in Casablanca highlights his comedic talent. Despite being known primarily for his funny roles, Groucho's versatility as an actor shines through in the film. His presence on screen captivates audiences, making it a memorable classic. A Night in Casablanca, a film released in 1946, features a scene where Groucho Marx, known for his humor, smashed a violin on stage at Carnegie Hall, mimicking a tribute to Jack Benny. Groucho, unlike his older brother Chico Marx and Harpo Marx, was not known for being a womanizer in real life. He joked about his failed attempts at courting during his younger days. The film was honored by Turner Classic Movies during its Summer Under the Stars event on August 4, 2022, where a selection of Groucho's films were showcased. In 1959, the Marx Brothers reunited for GE Theater's Incredible Jewel Robbery, a silent half-hour film starring Chico and Harpo as jewel thieves. Disguised as Groucho, they planned the perfect crime. Groucho joins them in the police lineup at the end of the show. Additionally, a TV pilot in 1959, Deputy Seraph, again Team Chico and Harpo, this time as two angels whose spirits possess the bodies of people on Earth. The pilot episode was never finished and never seen, but a few seconds showed up on the A&E Network's biography of Groucho. In Italy, most of her films were dubbed by either Rosetta Calavetta or Lydia Simonski. Andrena Pagnani and Dihia Cristiani, most notably in Alfred Hitchcock's Strangers on a Train, also lent their voice to Roman. Inducted into the United States Croquet Hall of Fame in 1979. Banjo, a character in The Man Who Came to Dinner, draws inspiration from Harpo, who was born in Chicago in 1915. Harpo started his career in burlesque and nightclubs, later debuting in the 1942 film Road to Morocco. Throughout his career, he specialized in portraying menacing villains. Entertainment Weekly ranked him the 62nd greatest movie star of all time, among the Marx Brothers. 
Harpo's influence resonates in his roles and performances, leaving a lasting impact on cinema. A Night in Casablanca, a movie from 1946, has some funny stories related to Groucho Marx. Once, Groucho's son Arthur got caught smoking a corncob pipe in his room. He quickly hid it in a drawer when he heard his dad coming. But Groucho wasn't bothered. Instead, he came back with a better pipe, saying smoking hadn't hurt him, even though he always felt terrible. This film remembers the Marx Brothers' funny acts, like the mirror scene from Duck Soup in 1933, performed by Harpo Marx in 1955. This scene reminds us of their timeless humor that makes people laugh across generations. One famous line often linked to Groucho, well, who you gonna believe, me or your own eyes, is actually said by Chico Marx in Duck Soup. This line shows the Marx Brothers' cleverness and humor. To sum up, A Night in Casablanca isn't just a movie, it's also a reminder of the Marx Brothers' hilarious journey. Groucho's parenting moment, Harpo's mirror scene, and the mistaken line all add to the humor of this classic comedy. A Night in Casablanca, released in 1946, features Chico Marx, whose birth name was Leonard Marx. He was the nephew of actor Al Sheen. The origin of his stage name, Chico, traces back to his womanizing habits. During the Marx Brothers' vaudeville days, Leonard Marx was often seen with women, leading to his stage name being derived from the slang term chick. While filming Horse Feathers in 1932, Chico Marx suffered a severe knee injury, resulting in a noticeable limp in some scenes. Despite this, he continued his career in the film industry. A Night in Casablanca is a 1946 comedy film directed by Archie Mayo. The Broadway show Minnie's Boys, which ran in 1970, featured Louis J. Stadlin in a notable role, earning him a Theatre World Award. Sidney Sheldon wrote a novel titled A Stranger in the Mirror, which was later adapted into a TV movie in 1993, starring Perry King and Lori Loughlin. Ruth Roman, a top movie star at Warner Brothers in the early 1950s, appeared in A Star is Born in 1954. Her glamorous photo decorates a publicist's office in the film. A Night in Casablanca, a 1946 movie, features a retired actor who later found success on television as a villain. He is also known as the brother-in-law of Barbara Marx, Susan Fleming, and Dee Hartford. Apart from his acting career, he was an avid poker player with a rumored photographic memory. There's a famous anecdote where a check written by one of the movie's actors was found in the wallet of a mobster at the time of his death. The actor insisted it was payment for a gambling debt from a poker game and denied any knowledge of the mobster's criminal activities. It said that if the mobster had tried to cash the check, it would have bounced, likely resulting in dire consequences. A Night in Casablanca, a classic film from 1946, features Groucho Marx, renowned for his role in the Marx Brothers. Interestingly, he was considered for the role of Sephora in the Ten Commandments. He's also the father-in-law of Seamus Culhane. Groucho was voted the 62nd greatest movie star of all time by Entertainment Weekly. This movie, filled with humor and wit, showcases Marx's comedic genius in a setting as exotic as Casablanca itself. The film's timeless charm continues to captivate audiences, making it a beloved classic in cinema history.